it's like I knew that this was the right team when it wasn't just about business. Like we cared about each other's lives, our families, the children that we're raising. And she does a great job of challenging me because I think I've always erred towards the side of like, you just gotta love kids up. And then Amanda would say, yeah, and you have to really, really educate them well as well. And the fact that we continue to have these like to butt heads about that in a really positive way that I think makes us both better is what makes me know that we're a great team. Uh, so we really take good care of ourselves. We take a lot of time to reflect, call each other out, but we don't get mad and we move on. And so that's a skill that we learned and it took us a really long time to learn it and it was painful to learn. Now we're really good at it. There was one week where I think Amanda didn't sleep in terms of making it happen and making a lease happen. We looked for, we really spent two and a half years probably formally looking for a building. People have been skeptical to enroll this school. They have no idea where the school is going to be. Now that they know that we're here, I feel like the applications are going to start flooding in, so. And then seven weeks later, and then it took seven weeks for us to actually, um, like even if you just get it together like half hour it became such a gathering point for people who were really excited about the school finally happening we got most of our students from door to door canvassing is going door to door to talk to community members about who we are why we're here and what we're doing I I want to do Our mission is um, to nurture creative, critical thinkers who contribute to the well-being of their communities. It's like, well, this is, so I'm going to go <laughs> to a building, so I'm going to open it, and the doors are going to be open, and people are going to come, and they're going to bring their kids. It was a really emotional day. It was a really emotional day. Julia and Amanda and I spent quite a few instances that first day just looking at each other and didn't really even know what to say. So, here we are. <laughs> How did this happen? Um, it was pretty surreal. This is the reality of what we did. So I met Grace when I was 16. And at that time, I was, I was searching, and um, I knew something was missing. And meeting Grace helped me understand what was missing. Grace likes to say, in terms of building leaders, is that you create something that inspires people, and you never know who the leaders, what leaders will emerge. 